my DEXA scan came back at 15.2% body fat, which, funny enough, is about what I was estimating in my head. Now let's see what this app comes back with. Scanning... Alright, so it came back with 14.1% body fat, which isn't too far off from the DEXA scan, so not too shabby. In this video, I'm going to compare the DEXA scan results to the results of five different body fat measuring apps to see how accurate they really are. So let's get into it. I got my body fat tested by one of my friends who used to work at 24 hour fitness, but that was years ago. And I've been curious what my body fat percentage is now, especially that I'm quite a bit older. At first I started researching smart scales that can supposedly measure body fat, but through my research, I discovered a lot of those scales aren't very accurate and underestimate fat mass significantly. However, during my research, I did find out that there's a handful of apps that you can download that supposedly can measure your body fat just by taking a few photos of your body. In order to test how accurate those apps really are, I decided to go get a DEXA scan test done first so that I could use those results as a comparison. If you haven't heard of a DEXA scan before, it's regarded as the most accurate body fat test that you can get done. I got my DEXA scan done at a place called Body Fat USA, and the cost of the test was 80 bucks, which I didn't think was too bad. For the scan itself, you essentially lie down on a flat scanning bed, and an overhead scanner goes across your whole body within a few minutes, so it's really easy. I also got the results emailed to me within minutes after the test was done, which was nice. The report I got is pretty detailed, and I won't go through every page of it, but some of the things it shows you is obviously your body fat, but also your bone density, resting metabolic rate, and relative skeletal muscle index. It also gives you a few body composition images that actually show where on your body you have fat, as well as an x-ray image of your bone density, which is pretty cool. The five different apps I'm going to be testing out are Zing, Me360, Spreen, body map and body fat. I decided to do three scans with each app so that I could get an average for the body fat measurements. To save time and not bore you guys, I've already set up accounts for all these apps so I can just jump straight to the scan now. The first thing I noticed with Zing is that it's $18.99 a month. Just for this test, I went ahead and paid for a month. Zing is actually more of an AI personal trainer that can create personalized workout plans tracks your workouts and progress, has fitness challenges you can take part in, and of course an AI body scan to measure your body composition, which is what I will be testing out. So let's give it a shot and see what it comes up with. So to find the body scan, you actually go to the analytics section. Here you can see the option to scan your body. Once you click on that, you have the option to scan your body or upload from gallery. I only tried the scan my body option. If you select the scan my body option, you go through some brief instructions, how to stand correctly, lighting, clothing you should wear, background, distance and framing the shot, and making sure your volume is turned up. Once you've read through all that, it will open the front facing camera and show an overlay of a person that you have to try and match your body up to. It will light up green once you're lined up correctly. First, it will take a scan of the front of your body and then you turn to the side for another scan. I had a little trouble lining it up at first, but eventually I got lined up with the image. Once the two scans are done, it will allow you to redo the scan or start the analysis. Once you hit start analysis, it compiles your body scan report, which takes a couple of seconds. As soon as that's done, you'll get your report. The first thing it shows you is your body composition in the form of a donut chart. And my first scan showed that I had 5% essential body fat, 11.8% beneficial body fat, and 83.2% lean mass. So the total body fat came out to be 16.8%. The second scan came out to be 17% body fat, and the last scan came out to be the same as the first at 16.8%. So the average for all three came out to be 16.86%, so not too far off from the DEXA scan, but also not super accurate. 
All right, let's try this next app, which is called Me360. Unlike Zing, this is strictly for measuring your body composition. The UI is definitely nothing special, but it has good reviews, so let's see how it does. So once you open the app, you just get a blank screen with a button that says Start Scan. When you click the Start Scan button, it walks you through a guide similar to Zing, where it shows you how to pose correctly, how much space you need, and where you place your phone when doing the scan. Once you complete the guide, it will use your front-facing camera and display an overlay of a person just like Zing does. You then have to align yourself within that overlay. It took some trial and error before I got aligned correctly. Once you're aligned, it will overlay a line structure over your body that turns green once you've placed your body in the correct position. It will then take one photo from the front and then it will have you turn to the side and take another photo. After the scan is complete, it will process the results, which takes about four to five minutes. Results page, you get a high detail and low detail view, which as far as I could tell, only changes the detail of the 3D image, which I didn't find particularly helpful. Below that, it shows you your body composition details, including your body fat. The first scan came back with 18.9% body fat, which is a bit more than the DEXA scan. The second scan came out to be 19.1% and the last scan came out to be 19%. So the average for all three came out to be 19%. So not very close to the DEXA scan results. Next up we have Spreen, which I'm probably most optimistic about. Just like Me360, its feature is measuring your body composition and doesn't have any extra features. According to their description, the results are supposedly comparable to a DEXA scan and accurate within 1.10 to 1.3 pounds. It has pretty good reviews on the App Store and the UI also looks really nice, so let's see how well it actually works. Once you open the app, there's a section at the top with a button called Scan Now. After you tap that button, you're prompted to enter some info like your sex, race, height, weight, etc. Then it walks you through a guide just like Zing and Me360 about what type of clothes to wear, how to wear your hair, best type of lighting, how to angle your phone, and how to position your body. It also tells you to turn up your volume as well. You then set your phone upright on the floor angled slightly upwards and it shows you a level to help you get the right angle. Once you're in the right position, it shows you a solid green figure that shows you how to pose your body. It then shows a 2D skeletal overlay over your body to make sure you're in the right position and then takes a photo of the front of your body. After that, you turn to the side and it takes another photo. Once the scans are done, it asks you a few questions to make sure you took the photos correctly. If you aren't happy with the results, you have the ability to retake the photos. Assuming you're happy with the scans, you scroll down and tap the Start Analysis button. It takes about a minute or two to process the scans and then it pulls up the body composition results. Right at the top, it shows you your body fat percentage and my first scan came back at 14.1%, which isn't too far off from the DEXA scan results. If you scroll down, it will show you some more details about your results like your lean and fat mass and your body composition indices and metabolic rate. The second scan I took came back at 14.4%, and the last scan result was 10.8%. And for that one, I tried enabling the athlete mode, which it says is for individuals with low to mid teen body fat percentages and not for the general population. So the first two scan results were actually fairly close to my DEXA scan results, but when I enabled the athlete mode for the last scan, it definitely resulted in a less accurate result. The average for all three scans turned out to be 13.1%. Now I'm going to test the Body Map app, which only has a 3.2 rating on the App Store, but we'll give it a shot. This one also only focuses on measuring your body composition and doesn't have many extra features other than being able to set goals and track your progress. All right, let's give it a shot and see what it comes up with. Once you open the app, you are shown a dashboard and a button that allows you to do your first scan. After you press the Scan Now for Free button, it brings up a screen that prompts you to enter your current height and weight. After you confirm your height and weight, it starts playing a video to walk you through the instructions on how to take the scans. So similar to the other apps, it mentions to wear tight-fitting clothing, 
to put your hair up and how to position your phone. This app has you do two separate scans, one for your upper body and another for your lower body. Once you've gone through the video tutorial, it shows you a screen with a dotted outline for where your head and hips should be placed. It also shows you a level to make sure your phone is angled in the correct position. Your body appears as a thermal image and you have to try and align yourself within the dotted guides, which I have to admit was a little tricky at first, but eventually I figured it out. Once you're in the right position, it starts counting down and takes scans from the front, back, and sides of your body. As soon as the scan is complete, it shows you a replay of your scan to make sure it was successful. When the checking process is complete, it uploads the scan. Once the first scan has been uploaded, you're prompted to scan the lower half of your body to complete the full body scan. So just like for the first scan, it walks you through a video tutorial. After the tutorial, it shows you an outline box where you need to position your hips and feet within it. Just like the first scan, it takes photos from all four sides. Once that's complete, you review the scans again and then it uploads them. It then takes about 10 minutes to process both scans. Once the scans are done, it shows you some info on your dashboard like the number of scans you've done, a health score as well as your total body fat. On the measurements page, it shows you all the data for your body composition. Then back at the top, you can switch between all of your different scans. You can also compare two scans side by side. Finally, on the reports page, you get an overall health score based on your most recent two scans as well as a donut chart showing your body composition. It also shows your visceral adipose tissue, your body type, and what your macronutrients should be. The average for all three scans turned out to be 7.33%, which is flattering but pretty far off from the DEXA scan. Last on the list, we have the Body Fat app, which is a little different than the other ones because it essentially acts like a body fat calculator, and you actually manually take the measurements and then enter them into the app, and then it calculates your body fat percentage. I'm a little less optimistic about this one, but hey, you never know, maybe it'll be the most accurate one. The ratings for it are just as good as the Spring app, so let's test it out and find out how accurate it really is. Once you open the body fat app, it asks you to choose your gender and then it asks for your height. After that, you actually get a tape measure to take measurements of both your waist and neck and enter the values into the boxes. After you hit the next button, it does a quick calculation and gives you a body fat estimate based on the info you entered. The last screen shows you your estimated body fat, which it just rounds up and also shows you a 3D representation of your body type and you can view the different body types to see the differences and also play around with the body fat slider to see what different body fat percentages look like. So quite a bit different than the other apps and the average for all three measurements I did ended up being 17.03% which is a bit over the DEXA scan results. After testing out all the apps and comparing them to my DEXA scan results, the most accurate app ended up being the Spring app. Keep in mind, that's if I don't include the last scan I did using the Spring app where I had turned on athlete mode and that resulted in a skewed result. In second place was Zing, followed by the Body Fat app in third. Then rounding out fourth and fifth place was the Me360 and Body Map apps. Though so obviously nothing was super close to the DEXA scan, but I think I would probably use the Spring app to at least get a ballpark estimate of my body fat. At the end of the day though, the DEXA scan is still going to be the best test that you can get done, so if you really want to get an accurate measurement, then that would be the way to go. I hope you found this video informative, and if you're interested in learning about how AI tools can provide health and fitness advice, check out my video about AI tools. As always, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe for future content. See you in the next one.